Yo, 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 welcome to the show, everybody. It's me, Ben, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're reacting, one, we're reacting to 21 Fire, but we're doing both versions. Typically, I wouldn't make a video that has two music videos in one, but because, from what I can tell, this is the same song, just different versions of a music video, I think, at least that's what I've been told, we're reacting to them together. But, Reacting to 21 for a very special reason. Obviously, I've been watching Queendom. You can watch my reactions over on uh, Twitch to those. Be sure to hit me up on Twitch. I stream every single day over there. Um, and Queendom, of course, has Park Bomb uh, competing in the uh, in the festivities, I guess, the competition. Um, and of course, Park Bomb being very famously known for being a part, very big part of 21. Uh, and I, you know, have never listened to any music by 21. For those of you guys that might be newer to my channel, I really have only been into K-pop since about February. Um, yeah, mid-February, something like that. So it hasn't even been a year for me yet. I'm doing my best to go back and react to other groups that have, uh, you know, a lot older. Um, but yeah, I was told this would be a great way to get into the group judging it because it was their debut, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know very little about this group. You're gonna need to help hold my hand a little bit as we go. Uh, what I do know about the group, I know from you know hearing Park Bomb talk about it on Queendom, which isn't too much, but um, judging by her level of talent um, and just the way that she carries herself, I have a feeling I'm gonna like this group a lot. So let's get into the video. Space version first, and then the street version next. Uh, let's get into it. Let's have some fun. Let's go. They had a Beats sponsorship? Beats? The best? Bro, that's how you know this came out in 2009. We've got 480p quality, bro. Turn this up. I go by the name of CL21. Okay. So, first of all, the lyrics aren't too hot, so I'm probably just gonna turn them off, but not what I was expecting. Y'all. Immediately off the bat. It's like I've been teleported back to 2009. And I said this when I reacted to Super Junior. Um, I would imagine when I get to, to Girls' Generation, I'll end up feeling the same way with them. Um, it doesn't matter where you were in the world in 2009. If you were listening to any, any sort of poppy kind of sounding music, it was all the same. This instrumental very easily could have been on the radio in America, in Southeast America where I'm from at the time. The only reason it wasn't was it because, was because it had, it, it, was, it was in the context of K-pop. That's crazy to me, bro. It sounds like the intro to a Black Eyed Peas track, dude. Or like a, It's a real shame that we can't up the quality of this music video because I would love to see this potentially re-uploaded or redone in high quality. That'd make me really happy. Uh. She's even, we've even got the 21 on the side of the motorcycle, bro. They're balling out here. If this was their debut, they were balling for a debut. Dude! Yeah, it feels like I'm watching it through like a keyhole or something because the, the resolution is so bad. But that's okay, it's okay. It was 2009, bro. These are the best cameras. These were the best cameras and editing equipment in the industry at the time. That's crazy to me. Technology in 10 years has come so long. Because this came out in 2009. Uh. There are, I will say, and I'm impressed about how much, how many effects are in this music video. You'd think that you'd be able to render to a higher quality when exporting the video, but apparently not. So we, were, we had the technology to be able to make all of these crazy effects behind them in the middle of the video, but not quite, not quite to the point where we can have it in HD. That's kind of crazy. Oh! 
Oh my god! See, like what I'm talking about with the effects? Look at the fire! Oh, that bass is so nice. Back to the motorcycle. Okay. Look, and this is something I was thinking about as the music video started that I didn't say, so I'll say it now. Think about how different music videos are today. I feel like the majority of the music videos that I've been reacting to as of late have a lot of very slow moving shots or the movement within those shots is very slow, right? Sometimes we have like some, some, crazier, um, some crazier bits of choreo that require fast camera movement, stuff like that. Something that comes to mind is 17's recent comeback with Fear, right? When uh, there are those crazy choreo movement, movements, moments, movements, the camera has to move obviously quickly. But even within that music video, there are moments of the song where the levels drop and the camera movement is slow. And it's almost as if, correct me if I'm wrong, the theme of this music video so far, Fire, is that it's like they put every effect they could possibly find into one video just to like drive home the point of craziness, right? And then like if you were to look at a video like I think of Bacon's You and Village, right? That entire music video is monotone. The song itself is really interesting, right? Really, really fun. But the music video is basically just a bunch of him slightly dancing around or just walking. And that's what we do now rather than these crazy effects. I don't know. It's just interesting to think about that to me. Watching the progression is fun. Uh, that was a cool cut. Yo, real talk. I was gonna say, I wish, once again, I wish we were in higher quality just so I could see what shoes these are. Cause for a second they looked super dope. Was that a Hulk hand? It was a Hulk hand. If you had Hulk hands growing up, you were that kid. Shout out to y'all. Uh. The heels. Dude. They're really all out here in heels dancing like this. Props. Oh! And the, honestly, I feel like a lot of music from this time could get kind of stale. It sounds kind of the same even after a couple verses. They've switched it up many times and kept it really interesting here. This is not a boring song at all. Little bit of auto-tune here and there for fun. I'm here for it. See what I'm saying about the auto tune? Yes! Y'all, 2009 was a weird time. That's all I'm gonna say. It, it was a weird time. The other thing I'll say is that this music video, there's a very good chance that this music video probably paved the way in a lot of ways for plenty of K-pop music videos because even today we still see this same sort of lighting from behind, almost mirrored floor. That's how many music videos have I reacted to even in the last week with that in it? Probably like three or four. It's crazy. Fire in more ways than one. Uh, wow, that, okay, that was my first ever 21 music video and it was, it was fire. Over to the next one then. Alrighty guys, street version of fire. Let's get into it. I wonder if there'll be a whole lot of changes. Is that a, is that a roll? 
even in long time coming. Y'all, even in one year, even in one year, the quality has already increased tenfold. We've gone from only 480 to 1080. Look at how much more HD this is. I don't know. As as somebody who's you know passionate about editing, this is super interesting to me. But we here now. We yes. So it's just the same song, different setting, different choreo. Let's go, dude. Yo, they've got the fresh kicks too. Holy crap. Dude. I can't get over these pink pants, bro. I want a pair. They've got a very special kind of swagger, especially in this music video, now that I can actually see their faces and it's not just four pixels on the screen, you know what I mean? They really pulled up in a rolls as well, man. They really did. 21 was popping even in 2010. They were popping in 2010. Uh, that outfit's fire. Love that. Dude, this music video is awesome. This whole, I mean, this holds up perfectly today, especially as far as editing goes. Look at that. The extra camera angle change, so we're just focusing on the legs there as well. That's intricate as hell. Still definitely got that early 2010 sound though, so it... And they reused the fire effect from the first music video. That's dope. That's dope. Everything changed, except the song itself and that fire effect. Nice touch. Ugh. Well, okay, I was focused on the wall because there was a weird coloration thing. My bad. What was that? Hello? Thoroughly impressed. I really am. I'm 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 almost shocked at how well this holds up. Even today, for a song that came out in 2010. This is almost 10 years old, y'all. Approaching 10 years old. Alright, dude. Yo. 21 did not come to play. Necks are being snapped. Wigs are being snatched. We got like a stop motion. Whoever produced this music video is flexing on whoever made the other one. And if it's the same person, you improved so fast in one year, bless you. This is amazing. And we're right back. It's such a simple music video. We're in the same location the entire time. The only difference is sometimes there's a car lighting behind them. See, and that's an interesting secret, right? That's interesting. Because we could have lit the video in any way we wanted to. But we decided to light the music video using lights from a Rolls mother freaking Royce in the background instead. Because we're 21, we do whatever we want. I like the auto-tune. Some people don't like auto-tune at all. I think a little bit here and there is good. 
That's legal. Dude. What do you want me to say? I don't have anything else. I'm blown away, dude. Seriously. Like I said, bro, they're really being lit by lights from a rolls. That's what's happening. Fire. Fire in more ways than one. I already made the joke once, but I'll say it again. Y'all, 21. Those are my first two music videos from them. Technically one, I guess. One year apart, pretty much the same thing, but wow, that was super dope. Um, definitely leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys want me to react to uh, next that 21 did. I'm definitely down to get into more of their discography and learn more about them. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want me to see, what, what you want to see from me, from them. Sometimes my brain stops working in the middle of my sentence, like right there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being on me to react to 21. And obviously, like I said, with Queendom, that's been happening. It just fit right in. I was like, you know what? Let's, what, well, what better time than now to get into 21 and react to some of their stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. That helps me out tremendously. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. So until then, I love you very much and peace. Bye.